per sentire una canzone con te ed averti solamente per me. Ah, bellissimo. Two handsome Italians. The wheels and the man at the wheel are taking me on a tour of Brisbane, Italian style. Tanta musica per noi suonerà. Alessandro Sorbello knows where to find all the tempting tastes of Italy the city offers. Our first stop is Siriani's at the Emporium, the perfect place to buy picnic provisions. Full of things. Now, when it comes to the best Italian products, this is the right place to be. Okay. Have a look at this. Siriani's is a gourmet's paradiso, where owner Tony stocks only the best. What have you got for us to try today? Well, we've got some beautiful marinated boccaccini here, which is really nice. Fantastic. And we've got the marinated fennel. Yep. Which is particularly nice at this time of the year. And then we've got Mrs. Siriani's uh, marinated black olives. That's why my mother makes those. You can only buy them at Siriani's. Does right? she? Yeah. So your mother is still marinating still the olives? She's 83 years old and she's been doing it ever since we started. Siriani's can put together a picnic basket for you, brimming with Italian delights. And New Farm Park seems a fitting place to enjoy it. The suburb's early residents were immigrants from Italy. That blend of Aussie and Italian culture is a theme of this year's Italian Week. So what can we expect during this week? Well, I mean, the things that Italians are the best at. I mean, that's uh, fashion and food and cars, music. And, and I think the idea of being Italian, particularly in, in today, means many things. There's an integration with the Australian culture as well. I mean, there's no better example of cultural synergy than Peter Couples and his daughter Georgia. You'll remember Peter from the Aussie 70s band Stylus. These days, he's an honorary Italian. There's nothing like an Italian love song. Oh, it's Thanks, beautiful. Georgia. Thanks, Georgia. Thanks. Listen, you must have really seriously immersed yourself in the Italian culture. Oh, I have indeed. I love the Italian culture. You know, my wife's uh, Italian, of course. Uh, uh, Bruzzese, first generation Australians. Yes. You know, I was saying... I don't have any hair in my chest. That's the only thing that non-Italian about me. But uh, <laughs> apart from that... <laughs> oh, yeah, because Peter Couples sounds really Italian. <laughs> no, it's Pietro Capelli. Oh. <laughs> Whether music or fashion, style is the unmistakable stamp of Italian influence. Elio Marzullo is the designer behind the Elio Moda label, renowned for classic men's and women's wear. Oh, this is beautiful. This silk is just gorgeous. Looks divine on you. Put the bit of resistance. You. you know, what is it about the Italian flair when it comes to fashion? Well, I suppose uh, they've been doing it for many, many centuries and I'm very proud of our heritage and uh, part of our catchphrase scenario is that we live local but think global, so we'd like to bring as much of our European influence to our stores as we can. It feels very sweet, actually, and I think that my friend Ale has found himself something. Do you think we could take it on to our next location? For sure. It looks too great to take off. Fantastic. Thank you. Our last stop is Dolce Sapori, where the sweet life gets that little bit sweeter. This is a traditional pasticceria straight from the streets of Sicily. It doesn't get more authentic than this when it comes to sweets. It doesn't. We do the traditional Italian sweets. So things like this, this is very much a traditional Sicilian dish, is it? Uh, Sicilian well, sweet. it is. It's uh, Brutti Maboni. It uh, means ugly but nice. It's a big, big classic. What a sweet nice name. Nice. You're ugly, but you're very nice. May I? You're welcome. Hmm. I don't think they're that ugly. But they taste nice. They taste fantastic. Make sure you put Italian Week in your diary. It's on at South Bank from the 26th of May to the 1st of June. Enjoy sleek Italian cars, fashion, food and music, including Peter Couples and his daughter. And dedicated Italophiles should contact the Dante Alighieri Society, which offers cultural events and Italian language classes. If you've missed those dates or any other information we've passed on, then get in touch with our office for a fact sheet or look at it all on our website. I'd also encourage you to browse the Queensland holidays, travel train holidays and RACQ websites. They're all great resources for planning an outing. 
also some lovely sweets to finish off a delightful day. So. It certainly was. Thank you for taking me on a tour to see Brisbane Italian style. It was my pleasure, and uh, I look forward to seeing you at Italian Week. You will see me at Italian Week, and hopefully a lot of people will be learning about Italy that week. And thank you for your company. Of course, the team and I would love to see you again next Sunday afternoon at 5.30 as we take you out and about somewhere else in the Great South East. And stay with us now. Seven News is up next. Buona sera. Next week, a couple of us are heading out for a ride. But while Liz will be very much under pedal power, I'll be under horsepower.